hello everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by today's vlog is just going to be another update of what's going on at chapel street and on the promenade as you can see the promenade is still open both ways although the traffic lights are not working because you don't really need them because chapel street is closed so nobody's going to be turning on to the prom from here a lot of bricks being taken up there and this is going to be closed for eight or nine weeks everybody according to my last video this hitting stuff down there Can stop. So let's take a walk around and have a look at everything that's going on. I'm going to have to walk to the end of here because of the fence runs all the way to where the waxworks are. So I'm going to just try and hustle a little bit, walk as fast as I can. My fingers are freezing, by the way. I walked to Morrison's to try and get some of my coffee, didn't get any, I think I'm just going to give up on that now. Got some milk, got some bread, so I got the things I needed, the essentials and stuff. But I decided to walk home via the prom because somebody asked me if I would do a promenade video and show the whole promenade. So I've been walking home and vlogging as I walked but anyway let's take a look at what's going on down here there's not a really a lot you can see to be sure looks like they're taking down all this brickwork here I'm trying to find a spot where you can see what's going on but I'm not having a lot of luck Really, it just looks like they're getting rid of that overbuilt structure there and just knocking that down I'm guessing they're doing that so they can access the subway underneath. I thought I remembered the actual subway being a little bit close to the kerb. But it must have been there. Because I know the subway is going to be filled in. But for now, all this it's all closed you can see that you can go down there so if you do drive down chapel street and have to turn you're not going to be like massively sent out of your way you can just literally turn down foxhall get back onto the prom that way or you can go the other way and turn down Bonnie Street and get back onto the prom that way. But there's not really a lot of places where I can stand to film. There you go, at least you can see what's open and what's closed. Promenade's open, crossings are closed, so the only bit that's closed really is the very end bit of Chapel Street. There are a couple more things I need. 
me the shot which I've got no salt I've just realised I might just nip to the pound shop on the way home and see if I can get some salt at least I don't need to look that way to cross over here because nobody's going to be turning in from the pram I really like this cycle path I've said that before in a previous vlog I really wish all of Blackpool had cycle paths like that that would be great it'd be great for everyone it'd be great for the motorists who wouldn't have to drive and look out for cyclists it'd be great for the cyclists who wouldn't have to worry about motorists and it'd be great for the public who wouldn't have to worry about people cycling on the pavement so it'd be like a win-win-win if there was a proper cycle road all the time I actually got knocked off my bike on the way to work I was cycling down Devonshire Road I think it was 2019 when it happened I was cycling down Devonshire Road just minding my own business, being careful cycling on the road close to the kerb and somebody just came out of a side street and either didn't see me or just, I don't know what, well obviously they didn't see me because they just drove straight into me and hit me and I wouldn't like to think that they saw me and still decided to do that so yes yeah, somebody came out of a side street just hit me knocked me off my bike I hit the cold hard pavement with a big ouchy thud and I couldn't get up but I wasn't actually seriously hurt I had no real injuries I think I was just in like a mild shock I was very bruised I had like a scrape and a bruise on my hip bone and on my thigh and one of my elbows I was bruised and achy and I did kind of ding my knee a little bit because my whole right side just hit the road quite hard but I didn't have anything broken or anything serious seriously injured in the actual injury sense but I couldn't get up and the people jumped out the car and they came up to me and tried to stand me up which you really should not do by the way if somebody's been hit if you hit someone by a car don't run up to them just try and stand them up and I just couldn't get up my legs were like jelly and I was shaking so somebody had called an ambulance and they must have thought it was more serious than it was because I was lying on the floor not moving much ambulance came like oh no 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 with a siren on and police car turned up and they got me in the ambulance and once I was warm and I was in the ambulance and I had a blanket on me and I was lying somewhere a bit comfy that wasn't on the road and one of my friends had actually walked down really quickly and picked up my bike and took my bike home so I wasn't worried about that I started to feel a bit better but they kept me in the ambulance for ages and they insisted on taking me to the hospital because they said you could have broken something you might you know you need to be checked out and I remember I said to the paramedic I said oh I'm feeling okay now I kind of feel like the world's biggest fraud so I'm just lying on this bed and I feel all right and she was like don't worry about it you're fine we need to get you checked out so they took me to the hospital and they wheeled me in and I did I felt really bad because they kind of took me straight in and I know I must have queue jumped but I mean when you get wheeled in by paramedics you don't really get a say in when you go in and what order you get seen in and they wheeled me more or less straight in so I got seen fairly quickly but yeah I had no break it, no breaks or fractures, it were just kind of bruises and shot. But yeah, that is the story of how I got hit by a car on the way to work. But I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous for a few weeks after that cycling to work. Every time I cycle past that same street I slow down because 
I had it in my head that somebody could just come out of that street and hit me. Well, anyway, on that blissfully happy note, I'm going to finish this video now. So, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment. And please subscribe. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.